Hey everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and welcome back to yet another beginner's guide. Today is all about mana potions, because today we're going to show you how to craft or obtain a lesser mana potion, a mana potion, a greater mana potion, and a super mana potion. But before we get there, as always, please hit subscribe right now. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers, and we can't do it without your help. Secondly, hit that bell notification so you know when I go live or drop a new video. Number three, make sure you drop a like and comment down below, because that always helps the algorithm. And finally, make sure you check out the description down below for a lot of cool links. Now, let's get into this and show you how to make some potions all right so you want to be a magic user eh? you want to run around you want to shoot things with the magic and go like this and get all the damage done and beat the game right well here's the thing you see over here you see your mana well it drops over time so the more you use the magic weapon as you can see it drops down to well nothing so what you're gonna need especially early on in the game is a bunch of potions mana potions specifically so we're gonna show you how to make those and we're gonna start off with the lesser mana potion for all you new players so starting off, we've got the Lesser Mana Potion. The Lesser Mana Potion, you don't even need to craft because, well, you can't. You need to find it. Now, to find Lesser Mana Potions, all you need is my buddy Milton here, the Merchant. Once he spawns into your world, head over, hit Shop, and if you'll notice right here, it says a Lesser Mana Potion. It'll cost you about a silver for each one, but you can buy one at the Merchant. You're done. You're good. Simple. You got your first Mana Potion. Next up is the regular mana potion. It will heal you for exactly 100 mana. Sound good? Good. Now, to get your hands on one, either you can do some fishing, which nobody wants to do. You can do some fishing. Occasionally, you'll find some in crates. But did you know you can also craft them? It's a true story. We're going to show you right now how to craft a mana potion. All right, so to craft your mana potions, you will need your lesser mana potion, and some glowing mushrooms. Now, the glowing mushrooms you will find underground in the underground or cavern layer in the mushroom biome. Once you're down there, grab a bunch, you're going to need them later. Now, your crafting station, it will either be the alchemy table, which you get in the dungeon, which you will have post-Skeletron once you defeat him. Otherwise, you're going to need some kind of a surface. We're going to do workbench because that's nice and simple. All right, put that down. And as you can see here, I have a bottle. We're going to craft a bottle from some sand that we melted in a furnace. And with the glass, we made a glass bottle. Got it? Good. We're going to put that down. Get back over here. Give me that. Put that down properly. Come on. Too much left clicking and right clicking. We put it down. There we go. And as you can see over here now, we can craft a mana potion with two lesser mana potion and a glowing mushroom. Got that? There you go. Beautiful. We've got ourselves a mana potion. Next up is the greater mana potion, which will heal you for 200 mana. Now, here's the deal. You can't just go and craft one. Your first option to get your hands on one is to purchase it. So to buy yourself a greater mana potion, what you need to do is be in hard mode. Once you defeat the wall of flesh, the wizard will appear bound in the cavern layer, just like the goblin tinkerer. You head into the cavern layer, you find them, you rescue them, and then you can go into a shop. We'll pop in there, hit shop, and as you can see right here, for about five silver, you can buy yourself a greater mana potion. That's your first way to get your hands on one. Now, there is one other way, but it's a little bit more, we'll say, difficult. Now, let's show you the second way to get your hands on a greater mana potion. As you can see here, I have a soul of light and I have a chest. And you're probably going, Raz, why do you have a soul of light and a chest? Well, let me show you what we're going to do. So we're going to break that right there, break that right there. Now I've got 15 souls of light. We move that over, and I've got a chest. If you go to the workbench, hit crafting right there. As you can see, you can make yourself a key of light, or you can also make a key of night with souls of night. Got that good. So we're going to make that key right there. There we go. We've got a key of light. Now that we've got a key of light, we're going to spawn ourselves a mimic. We're going to spawn a hallowed mimic. You can also spawn a crimson or corruption mimic, but we're going to spawn a hallowed mimic. Now, we are in hard mode. you got to be in hard mode. Don't forget to be in hard mode. Got that? Good. Let's take the chest. We're going to put that on the ground right there. No, not like that. Give me this back. My God. Put that down right there. We're going to open the chest up. And as you can see, with the 15 souls of light, like I said, get out of here. My God. Anyway, with the 15 souls of light, we made ourselves a key of light. You can also do that, like I said, with a key of night. We pop that into the chest now and get ready because once that chest closes, we're going to have a problem. And here is your hallowed mimic. Ah, they are not easy to defeat. They are very difficult. But as you can see, they drop your greater healing potion and your greater mana potion. Now, that looked very simple. But I assure you, especially if it's early on in hard mode, they are not an easy mob to defeat. It'll be tricky, but that is your second way to get your hands on a greater mana potion. Now, with a coup de grace, let's show you how to create super mana potions. All right, now it's time to craft ourselves some super mana potions. So what we're going to need for that, we're going to need 15 greater mana potions, because we're making 15 potions at a time, not one, so you need a stack of 15. Got that? Good. We need 15 greater mana potions. We just showed you how to get those or buy them. Secondly, we need a single fallen star. 
Thirdly, we're going to need three crystal shards. And finally, we're going to need to take out a unicorn because we're going to need a unicorn's horn. Got that? Good. Let's show you where to get everything. All right, to get your hands on your fallen stars, well, they're right there. They fall between 7.30 and 4.30. 7.30 p.m. and 4.30 a.m., they fall on the ground at the nighttime. Pick them up, and there you go. You got the nighttime. You got the fallen stars. You're fine. Everybody knows how to get a fallen star. To get yourself some crystal shards, just be in the underground hallow. Look around, and eventually, when you see them hanging like that, you can grab some, and you'll be fine. You'll be good to go. Don't worry. There is plenty everywhere. As you can see, just grab them up, and you'll have exactly what you need in no time flat. Next up is the unicorn horn. Now, to get yourself a unicorn horn, all you need to do is defeat a unicorn in the hallow. So, as you can see on the map right here, I am in my hallow biome. We're going to wander around here, and as we have a unicorn spawn on the surface, it will not spawn in the underground. They need to spawn on hallow grass blocks or pearl sand blocks. You get the idea. So, you need to be on the surface. Once you're on the surface, hang out, use a water candle if you have to to get more mobs to spawn, and eventually, at some point, you will have a unicorn show up, and when you have a unicorn show up, well then, hey, look, I already had that set up. Nice. Once you get a unicorn set up, you can defeat it and get your hands on a unicorn horn. And no, I am not going to wait until I find a unicorn spawn. We're going to move on from here, but trust me, when it looks like a unicorn, fight it, you'll get the unicorn horn. Got that? Excellent. All right, so as you can see here, I now have 15 greater mana potion. I have one fallen star. I have three crystal shards and a single unicorn horn. Got that good. Also, I happen to manage to have a Daedalus Stormbow drop, which I would kill for in a normal playthrough. And normally it takes me forever because that's my favorite bow. But hey, we've got one now, which does me, well, pretty much no good. So anyway, now that we've got our 15 greater mana potion, our single fallen star, our three crystal shards, or our unicorn horn, once again, we're either going to use the alchemy station or we're going to use the place bottle on a table. Got that good. We head over to our crafting window once we have everything we need there you go there is your super mana potions got that amazing so there you go that is the lesser mana potion mana potion greater mana potion and super mana potion hopefully i have helped you out here if you want to be a mage hopefully i've kind of steered you in the right direction if i have like i said hit subscribe right now drop a like and comment because the algorithm loves that show your friends because you might have friends that want to be mages in terraria so tell everybody you know and finally i'll see you guys next time take care Ciao.